Yeah. So. Little tips and tricks. Okay, so thermal pile voltage was good. Motherboard comes up still flashing 7, which is fine after changing the valve. My little backup camera because I filled up the uh, I filled up the card on the other one. Okay, so I replaced the valve, but there's a good chance that there's nothing wrong with that valve up here. I don't know. We don't know. All right. And um, and so if the pilot light kept shutting off even though we replaced the valve, which is really bizarre. It's not, you know, I was supposed to do that. It came up seven flashes, which is fine. Oh. And this one came up seven flashes too, which is a little bit weird. But that's fine. Because uh, it doesn't, you know, maybe it had its own issues or something on the water heater that it came, so this is all used stuff. These parts are used. So there's always the chance you can replace a bad part with a bad so part. So I carry parts around with me um, in my truck. I just throw like... Yeah, yeah, you could switch the valves across. You tip, usually. If it's like a, a 100 gallon water heater that's special or something, that has a certain temperature range that's rated for a restaurant or something, yeah, you don't want to throw that on someone's 30 gallon water heater in their house. Because it could mess with them. Oh, but otherwise, they pretty much poured across, you know, more or less. Not a hundred. I'm not gonna say a hundred percent of them do, but basically, you know, ninety-eight percent of them do. They're all made by the same company. The only ones that you can't swap out are the uh, direct vent because they run off the 24 volt, and they don't have a pilot. They don't have a pilot button on the valve because the electronic controller turns on like the heating element and all that. So those valves are like, they're good valves. They do the same thing. They open and close, but you can't install them on a water heater. Like the, it's got to be sem somewhat compatible, but they're just not the exact same model numbers and all that. So I think you're good. You had plenty of voltage. It was like 650 millivolts, that's what I tested because it was acting weird like that. And um, we changed the valve. I'm just going to leave that old valve here. Because if you get that code 7 and you watch my videos, you can change it yourself if you want. Right? It's up to you. I mean, or you can call your landlord and say, you know, send the guy back over or whatever if you don't want to pay. I mean, it, it didn't take very long. It took me a little bit of time because. But, yeah, you just took exactly. Usually, it's like less than that. It's like 20 minutes. Oh, a multimeter? Yeah, yeah, they're good. One's like a cheap Harbor Freight, and the other one's like a decent Klein. But I keep the Harbor Freight one because it's good at ohms. And then I use the Klein because it's good at like testing continuity, where you need to find out if the switch is open or closed, you know. Anyway, so we're going to call it good on this one. Replace the motherboard, replace the valve. You guys can say hello to Kevin. Hi. Kevin's watching my videos on YouTube, or probably not anymore. Um, so we got this one going. We changed the valve. It turned out it was the circuit board pretty much that was having the issues. We tested the thermopile voltage. It was 650 and climbing. No sediment trap on here. Not a huge deal, but we know these valves are pretty sensitive and prefer them. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, and uh, have a great day.